How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today is the last time using this Dugong team, so fingers crossed it goes well. If you want to battle me, join the Discord server in the description, and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Okay, we found our opponent in the room 202-2201. Again, join that room if you want to do some casual 6v6 battles. It's probably the best place, well, second place to go outside of the Discord server, which you definitely should join. So looking at the team, I'm seeing a Smeagol lead, so I'm going to go ahead and lead straight with Espeon. I think that's definitely the best way to go. Okay, the battle begins. So my opponent, Bert, is going to lead off with Lars, the Volbeat, as we obviously led off with Espeon. Now, Espeon works out pretty well against Volbeat. I mean, Bug Buzz is going to hurt a little bit, but... um. We should be fine, um, they can't Thunder Wave us or anything like that, they're just going to probably sell Weather or something like that, I don't know what they really like to do, so... Uh, we'll go for a Light Screen first, just expecting the Bug Buzz, as they do decide to go for a Tail Glow. Okay, all of a sudden this just took a 180 and now that is quite threatening, so... Um, yeah, uh, we'll get Light Screen up at least, should help out a lot. They are probably going to go ahead and Baton Pass. I know Baton Pass is banned, but you can't expect everyone to be following Smogon rules when you're going against randoms. Um, I'd say the baton pass into something like, I don't know, Rotom Wash. I've always Psychic's going to hurt, so we'll go for a Psychic straight away. Um, they are going to stay in and attack us, you can tell, because they didn't out-prioritize us. We do two-shot with Psychic, but their Bug Buzz is going to hurt a lot through Light Screen. It's going to take out Espeon. There was nothing really could do that. that you know, I can't really switch anything in. Um, well, I mean, to be fair, I could have probably gone into Entei, but it would have done unnecessary damage against the Entei, so Espeon wasn't really doing too much for us there, so it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing to worry about here, nothing to worry about here. Um, right, what do we go into now? We go, well, I don't want to get Thunder Waved, so I think I go into Murkrow first. There we go, we're going to Murkrow real quick. We'll haze away the stat boost that it's got, and then we'll taunt it. There we go, we go for the Haze, get rid of that Tail Glow real quick because that's very annoying. As they go for another Bug Buzz, this isn't going to do too much damage to us. Yeah, we were eating that, that was a crit as well. We sponged that like a crit. So they've got Life Orb, which is really bizarre for a Volby. I never thought I would see one of those. Um, let's just go for another Taunt so they can't set up again. I can't believe I've let a uh, Volby take out two of my Pokemon. There we go, we go for a Taunt, make sure it can't set up another Tail Glow because that is just frustrating as... All heck. They can't go for Thunder Wave off the top. That wouldn't have worked anyway because I'm a Dark type for a start. So um, now we'll just go for a Foul Play, I guess, and just hope for the best. So we'll go for a Foul Play. Should do a decent amount of damage. Does actually take out the uh, Volbeat. So Murkrow coming through for us. Murkrow just shut down that threat, which shouldn't have been a threat, by the way. It's a, a freaking Volbeat. In comes Spun. That is the Rotom Wash. So... Rotom's probably just going to go for a Volt Switch here. Um, we do have the switching being Donphan. However, they could easily go for a Hydro Pump. So we've got to find some neutral ground. Uh, maybe we don't need you anymore. Oh, I don't know. I want to keep Mirko around for the Dragonite if it decides to set up, you know. But again, we know Dugong outspeeds. So we, we might. But again, we don't really have a good viable switching, really. I mean, we don't want to take unnecessary damage from our on our Salamence. Um, I'd say we go for a Taunt to make sure they can't trick us. No, we do kind of need Murkrow, though, for the rest of the team. Getting the Paralysis off is going to be really handy. Pokemon like Zangoose and um, Dragonite as well. Um, I suppose we go into our Salamance. Yeah, we go Salamance here. They're probably going to go for a Volt Switch, but it's fine. We can deal with it. I don't want to go for Dawnfan just in case they decide to Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump would obviously KO the Murkrow as well. So um, let's see what they do here. We get the Intimidate off, which doesn't really matter, obviously, because it's a Rotom Wash. Um, they go for a trick. Hopefully they give us a choice scarf. That'd be nice. Choice scarfed. Yes. We have got choice scarf now. So, with that in mind, they don't have anything really that wants to take an outrage. So let's go for the outrage real quick. We know they're choice scarfed, so we know they are quite frail. It's going to do a lot of damage. Perfect. As they can go for a vault switch now. That's going to go ahead and do not much damage at all. So that's, that's worked out nicely for us. We've got a Choice Scarf Salamence and a Choice Scarf Dugong. I think we're winning this, you know. I think we're winning this. Let's just see how it goes, though. Let's see how it goes. There's Darley. Darley is the Smeagol. Um, oh, I'm probably going to get spored here. But it's fine. We go for Outrage real quick. Take it down to its Sash. There's the Focus Sash, of course, on the Smeagol. you got to have Focus Sash. 
They go for the spore. Okay, cool. So the spore comes through. That's going to put our Salamans to sleep, unfortunately. Um, light screen will finally wears off as well. However, I think we're locked in. No, we're not locked in anymore because we're asleep. Cool. So, they're probably going to set up hazards or something. I'm going to go ahead and switch into Murkrow. I think Murkrow is a good one. There we go. Going to switch Salamans out. We're going to go into our Murkrow because Murkrow can basically wall this thing. Not wall it, but wow, Will-O-Wisp. Okay, cool. Will-O-Wisp is a thing. They knew we were going to switch out, so they went for Will-O-Wisp. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Um, that burn's going to come in a bit of a pain later on down the line. But we are going to go for a taunt now because we want to shut down the Smeagol like it's nothing. They are going to withdraw. Are they going to go Rotom? Iggy. Iggy the Zangus. Okay, cool. So uh, we'll go for a taunt on this thing. It can't Souls Dance now, which is always nice. Um... We are fully burned. Let's see if they're Toxic Orb. They are Toxic Orb. That's a shame because we could have got a Paralysis if it wasn't. Um, okay, so. They probably just go straight for the attack. Asad is going to hurt everything on my team. Can't really do anything about it. We're just going to have to go for a foul play and hope for the best. Asad, there it is. It's going to easily take out our Magpie. But it's fine. Murkrow did good this game. Murkrow did good. Murkrow did really good. So, Poison's going to set in. Um, we can go into... Uh, what, what do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do here? It's a tough one. I think we go Entei. I think we go Entei and go Sacred Fire. I think that's the best option for us right now. Yeah, let's go for the Sacred Fire real quick. There we go. We're going to withdraw the Zangus. Going to Dragonite. Vinny. Oh, the Dusknor. Okay, Vinny. Vinny the Dusknor. They're going to frisk us and know that we've got a choice banned, but it's fine. This is going to still hurt like a truck. There we go. Over half. Well, that's what we like to see. So, Dusnor looks really cool with this uh, Shadows mod as well. Makes it look really dark. So, let's go for another Sacred Fire. There's absolutely no reason not to. I think their play is to go into Dragonite, but um, they might not make it because they don't want to get burned. They're going to stay in and go for a Shadow Sneak just to get a bit of chip damage off on us. Makes sense after all, as they do avoid the next Sacred Fire, which is really unfortunate. But what can you do about that? Not a lot. Not a lot that you can do. There's not a lot that you can do. All right, let's go for another Sacred Fire. I really see no reason not to. If we if they go Dragonite, we can get the burn. Rotom's on its death door anyway. There's Sacred Fire coming through. That's going to take out the Dusknor nice and easily. And that's one more threat down. Dusknor is a really cool Pokemon. I really like it in Sword and Shield because it gets Poltergeist. There's the Charleston, which is the Dragonite, of course. Now, we've lost our um, Murkrow, unfortunately. We don't really have a good switch into this. So let's go for a Sacred Fire anyway. There we go. Go for a Sacred Fire. We do outspeed, of course. Not going to do much damage, but we might get the burn, which is what we're mainly looking for. They go straight for an Earthquake. That's going to be able to take us right down to 8 HP, um, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? As uh, this turn, they're probably going to go for an Extreme Speed to try and finish us off. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Salamence first. And we're going to try and wake Salamence up. Because if we can wake Salamence up, we can go for an Outrage and KO a whole bunch of things. So we'll go into Salamence real quick. There we go. Get the Intimidate off, which is what we really want. There we are. Get the Intimidate off. Lovely jovely. Lovely jovely. As they go for an Extreme Speed, as we anticipated, which isn't going to do too much damage now. So, let's see if we can wake up. Let's go for an Outrage. We are fast asleep this turn. That's fine. Probably going to make them log into an out Outrage of their own. There we go. All right, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. You know why? Because now we can just go into Dugong and finish this thing off. Looking at the rest of the team, I think Dugong's doing good here. Dugong is doing really good. There we go. We're going to Dugong real quick. We're going to Sky's idea. There we go. It's locked into Outrage. We know it can't switch out. It's easy pickings for Dugong. There's the Ice Beam coming through. Yum, 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 yum. Takes all that damage. Dragonite goes down. So there we go. We are sorted. Absolutely sorted. And I think Dugong can just stay in here. In comes Iggy. Iggy is the Zangus. Um, not being funny, right? But let's just go for an Ice Beam. There we go. Go for an Ice Beam. Boom. Let's see if we can live. Close combat? No, no chance. No chance at all. Close combat. I, for some reason, I didn't think um, Zangus got close combat in BDSB. I thought it was one of them moves locked behind Pokemon Home. Um, but, you know, I guess not. So, Zangus is going to get rid of us with a close combat. That's absolutely fine. We've got Rotom Wash. We've got Smeargle. And we've got this thing. Um, we can just finish off with Entei. I think we just finish off with Entei here. We're going to the Entei now. 
We'll go for an extreme speed. Lock ourselves into that. And then go from there. There we go. Go for the extreme speed. That's going to take out the Zangus. No problems there. The Rotom should be on Death's Door. And the Smeargle is easily taken care of. There's Spun. Spun is the Rotom Wash. We are going to go ahead and go straight for an extreme speed. Take this thing out. Entei coming through with the extreme speed. Critical hit did not matter at all. And now what we've got left is the Smeargle. There's the Smeargle on 1 HP. Extreme speed coming through on Entei on his last legs. There's the extreme speed. That's going to take out the Smeargle. And that is going to conclude today's battle. So I'm, I'm really happy we managed to get a W with this team. I mean, we've already had a couple of Ws with this team. But we managed to get another W with the team, which is always nice. Uh, thank you very much, Bert, for the battle. Um, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.